Hi, it's Hope, and welcome to the video. This is going to be my May TBR, which, if you don't know how I do my TBR, I use Jenga. And so, for how this works is, I will play a clip of me picking the piece, so I already know what pieces they are as I'm filming this right now. And then, um, I will have a clip like this, explaining the book and all that. So, yeah, and all of the books mentioned will be linked down below. And also, I am doing the Tome Topple Readathon, which I will also, I will have, um, the announcement video and kind of explaining what it is in the description down below once I get to the books that are for that I will kind of start explaining it a bit more but yeah here is round one also I, what I forgot to mention in that first little clip is I have to carry over a book from April so for any book that I can I do not finish the month before I have to carry it on to my next TBR not including it for any of the prompts and that is obviously that is The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I didn't have time to read this. Well, there's, there is three days left of the month. It's the 27th when I'm filming this. So there's three days left. And I am halfway, and I'm halfway through my, uh, find, like my, like the other, a book that I'm reading. So I might have time to start it, but I will, I definitely will not finish it. So I have to carry this on over. So, now actually on to the prompts that we have to do. So, here is the tower. I'm going to just pick them out as I explain, I kind of explained everything before. So, let's just go. Let's just pick number one. P-O-C, which means person of color. So, whether that be... The author or a main character it has to be a person of color. Okay, so for the first prompt, which was POC or person of color, which means author or any character, I I think this is count, and that is Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. And all I know about this, it is a adult graphic novel, and it is about two people who are on the opposite sides of a, like, galactic war, falling in love, or something like that. Um, but I needed a short book, so I picked a graphic novel that I wanted to read, so there's that. Roll number, roll number, pick number two. This one, I guess. A standalone. For standalone, I picked As Much As I Ever Could by Brandy Wood Snow. If I look over there, that's because I have everything kind of out on a paper. And this is a um, contemporary about a 17 year old girl named C.J. Ainsworth, who is a sole survivor of a head-on collision that claimed her mother's and sister's life, and because of that, she does not drive, get behind the wheel, anything like that. Um, and all she wants to do is isolate herself to make, um, make it to the summer's end, where she is to fight against a stranger who, who can't keep his own car in his lane. Um, I'm kind of reading this. And it's basically her kind of falling for a guy who is a, um, is a hotshot racing champion destined for greatness in the NASCAR circuit. So it's kind of like, I'm guessing kind of her like him convincing her to be 
like to get over her fear and all that I'm not sure I'm just kind of reading it and this comes out it's I have an art but it comes out this date I have the date right here because I cannot remember off the top of my head and it doesn't say it on what I screenshot it I don't think no so it comes out the date I said I have an arc of it so that's why I'm reading it roll number I always say roll number pick number three go with this one a debut so a debut author or a debut novel of an author that has many books out for debut i chose divine blood by beck michaels and this i'm pretty sure is this author's debut book because i cannot find anywhere else on their website any other books besides like a book that is published after this and this is an arc it comes out june 1st um and um it is about a girl named Danala Ashton. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and it's about her stupid light. It's about her leaving her remote village to um, face the shadow demon who took everything away from her, either like before the book started. Along the way, she meets. Cassiel, a celestial prince with magic blood and wings as black as his heart. And they kind of team up to go to the destination, which is, I'm assuming, by the sounds of it, to the shadow demon or to something like that. And it's it's kind of hard to explain. I have the thing here. But I have, obviously, an art copy of it because it's not out yet. And I will leave this link down below. It, it sounds really interesting, but I'm horrible at explaining books. But, yeah. Um, pick number four. Ooh, lowest rated on TBR. Okay. For lowest rated on TBR, I'm going There Was Fire by C. Bryant. And this book, I have a... I technically think it's the author's copy of the book that got that got sent to me by the author and I got sent to this in February and I've yet to read it because I haven't had time but it is the lowest rated on my TBR with only um, a 2.0 because only one person has rated it and it was only a one star thing but this is about uh, there was fire is a story of Corla a young marsh a young marshal freshly introduced in the into set set bleh, into sa sable the especially a specialized military group quicker than corlo can blink she's found twisted into the plot darker than she could have imagined without her efforts all of her countrymen could be at risk and it is a big chunker but the um pages are like that so i sh hopefully this will be like an easier read since only like half the pages are like half the pages filled with words i am i am excited to read this i've just been putting off because it's so big and because i have wanted to read other books but this get, finally gives me a chance to redo this book roll number roll number i see it all the time pick number five i'm just going with this one a reread this is freaking perfect for a book I wanted to read this month. Next we have Reread, which I'm picking City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I read this book in, I want to say March 2018, I think. So it's been over two years since I've read it and it is a series I love. So I'm choosing to reread this and it is about a girl named Clary who enters the shadow world. And the shadow world is basically filled with shadow hunters who are um people with angel blood that gives them special abilities and there's um vampires warlock and fae and werewolves and all that and it's kind of her f um jumping into the um shadow world after her mother gets kidnapped um 
So, yeah. I'm so excited to reread this book. I was saying, I want to reread this book this month if a prompt will come up. Reread is the perfect prompt. Mm. I'm so excited. Pick number six. purple cover and for purple cover I have Happily Ever After by Kira Cass and this is a novella bind up of the slut from novellas from the selection series and all that I don't really know how to describe it but yeah it's just a co collection of bind up it's a it's a collection of novellas about some of the characters and all that and it's just I read um, the first three books in the selection series back, well, in April here. So I figured I need I should continue with the series with the novellas. Pick number seven. So far, none of these really work for the um, readathon I'm doing. Big book, over 550 pages. This works perfectly. I know exactly what book I'm picking for this. The next is Big Book, over 550 pages. And for this, I picked Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. And I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read off the thing because I barely understand what's going on. But, so. Bryce Quinlan, Quinlan had the perfect life, working hard all day and party all night until a demon murdered her closest friend, leaving her bereft, wounded, and alone. When the accused is behind bars, but the crimes start up again, Bryce finds herself at the heart of the investigation. She'll do whatever it takes to avenge their death. Hunt Ath Athalar is a notorious fallen angel, now enslaved to the archangels he, attempt he once attempted to overthrow. His brutal skills and incredible strength have have been set to one purpose, to assassinate his boss's enemies, no questions asked. With a demon wreaking havoc in the city, he offers an irresistible deal. Help Bryce find the murderer and his freedom will be within reach. As Bryce and Hunt dig deep into Crescent City's underbelly, they discover a dark power that threatens everything and everything and everyone they hold dear, and they find in each other a blazing passion that no one that one that could set them both free only if they let it that's really all i know and i know that there's if you are a fan of sarah j mass you love it which i am and it is a it is sarah j mass's first adult book which makes me kind of like not kind of skeptical because i i don't really read adult books but i'm realizing there's two adult books well adult graphic novel and then adult book on this so We'll just have to see how this works. But final pick roll number eight. A random number generator. So this one is I will pick book like I will pick I will take my Goodreads and add however many numbers there are use a random number generator and that is the book that I pick so the next is random number generator so here is the first number that I had which was a hundred and six and that corresponded on my want to read to timekeeper by Tara Sim and I am going to, again, just read this because it sounds really interesting. I was in an accident. I got out. Now I'm safe. Alternate Victorian, an alternate Victorian world controlled by, by clock towers, where a damaged clock can fracture time and destroy, and a destroyed one can stop it completely. A prodigy mechanic who can repair not only clockwork, but time itself, determined to rescue his father from, from a stopped town. A series of mystery, mysterious bombings that could jeopardize all of England. England, a boy who would give everything to relive his past and one who would give everything to live it all. 
a romance that will shake the, the very foundations of time. Literally, that's the description. That's all I know. But I remember hearing about it and just going, I want to read that. Add to the TBR. That was like in November or something. And yeah, now I'm reading it. And I'm kind of, I, want, I was kind of dis disappointed because a book I really wanted to read this month was three things off. But I got 106. The book I wanted was at 109. I obviously picked the book at 106 because that's how this works. So there were the eight books that I have to read. But... I actually have two other books that I have to read for my Tome Topple book readathon. I forgot to mention when I filmed the um, thing for House of Earth and Blood that this is working for um, the um, thing too. So here is the um, like little bingo card, and for my prompts there are five prompts that I can do over over three books. So four. Adult Tome and Tome on TBR with the most pages is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So, there's that. Then, for Tome on TBR the longest is Never Fade, which I have right here. And as I mentioned before, I technically still need to read The Darkest Minds before I read this because... I was supposed to read The Darkest Minds in April here, but with three days left of the month, I don't see that happening. So I have to finish that and this before that's done. So, and this, I can't really use, just um, explain it because obviously they won't, but there's that clip from the beginning of the video that actually I haven't filmed when I'm filming this. So, yeah, so there's that. And then for a tome from a series and read one tome is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. And I'm saying this now, I'm speaking it into existence. Every month this year, for the rest of this year, I am reading a Rick Riordan book. I read one last month. I want to continue this series really bad, actually, because I'm curious what's going on. So I'm like, slip it in. So, yeah. And... Again, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a continuation from the first book, which is The Lost Hero, um, which that one is about a boy who, a boy named Jason who wakes up knowing, having no idea who he is, where he is, why he's there, ultimately to reveal, and then throughout the story reveals why he's there, what everything's going on, finding out that he is a half-blood and all that, which I will just leave... Um, I'll leave the first book and I'll read, um, I'll link, um, The Lost Hero and The Son of Neptune down there because it's the second book of the series. So, yeah. These are all the books that, I, that I'm reading this month. I really would have, there was a couple of books that I really wanted to slip in there, like The Wicked King by Holly Black and A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. If I eventually, if I have time, which I highly doubt. I would read those, I will read those, but at the rate I'm going, I think I'm going to have to carry a book over into June like I did for May here. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and bye!